in trying to understand philosophy, broadly speaking, and what philosophers do, we need to understand the concept of truth and logic. In this segment, I like to look at the idea of truth. What is truth? Often, we hear the concept that truth is out there. And it turns out, truth is not out there. In fact, truth is a rather abstract entity. That is, truth is something that is real, but it's not concrete, like a ball or a marble or a car. Truth is often the evidence that is used to prove an idea to be true or a statement to be true. Conceptually, when we think of truth as a word and what it means, we must first see that as an abstract entity. The second thing we should understand is a property of ideas. That is, we think with ideas. We use concept. The words that I, that's coming out of my mouth right now may be evaluated as true or false. These are properties, qualities of those particular ideas. Some ideas we view as true, and some ideas we view as false. Another aspect of the notion of truth is that a conviction of the mind. The mind is convinced in some manner that some idea is true. That is, it somehow correlates to the world, okay? Which is the last property, aspect of the word truth I want to uh, impart upon you. The word truth also means um, an indicator of what is real. And by real, I mean broadly conceived. If we take something to be true, I say Santa Claus is true. It really means that Santa Claus, whoever that designates, exists in the real world that is similar to the way I exist in the world. The notion of truth means indication of what is real. But the concept of real could be in any domain. You could talk about truth as have a movie or a novel. It is true within that context. And the concept of truth would still be consistent. Truth is significant because what philosophers are going to be arguing about begins with the truth. Whether it's by perception, through our sense perception, empirical truths, or any other means, we need something that the mind can be convinced is true. And from that, the mind takes that to the next level using logic. And ultimately, it begins to reason.